Are you called by Elder? You better get a move on. Welcome, Jim. Jim, how long is it since you last came here? Well, since turning my back on human society and changing my form to that of a butterfly. Oh, no, no. I haven't called you here to talk about the old days. It appears that Mike has come too. June, you're here too. Can I help you, Elder? I have called both of you here for a reason. I'm rather concerned about something. Have you seen the moon tonight? June, where are you off to? You see it? It's very red and scary. I have a sinister premonition. Can you to investigate whether anything strange is happening in the mansion? Let's get started, June. June, Mike. I'm putting my trust in you. But it doesn't look like Kathy's here. <laughs> hey, Kathy! Will you play with me? Don't be nasty! <laughs>
June, you could have played with her. O sacred envoy who gives out light, visit together with thy curse. The full moon invites the curse. The one upon whom this spell is cast will turn into a butterfly. What are you doing standing there like idiots? June, let's ask about the red moon. Maybe Jossie knows something. do for you? Um, there's a red moon. I wonder if something evil's going to happen. Is the moon red tonight? Let's ask the cards. Oh, the moon card has been dealt. What does the card mean? The moon card signifies treachery or a hidden enemy. But it's very strange. Strange? The moon card is always paired up with the sun. In other words, they are always related to one another as darkness and light. Their existences are essential to one another. But the moon has begun to move off on its own. And that's very mysterious indeed. What's going to happen now? Well, well. All I do is deal the card and listen to its voice. Why don't you go and find out for yourselves? I don't mind giving you this card if you like. The magician? Just like Jossie, eh? Please take very good care of it. exchange. Then we'll do a deal. Maybe. Strange picture. I don't want a card like that. That's enough. I'm very busy. I've no time to chit-chat with people like you. Please come back some other time. See you. That guy always wants something in return. He's always been like that.
the sun. The lovers. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Will you play with me? What would you like to play? Okay then, I'll tell you a story. Please listen. Once upon a time, there was a strange, enchanting place. Clouds always filled the sky, so it was very dark. Everybody stayed very still. But when the clouds went away and the moon appeared, that's when the festival began. Then everybody went out hunting to get food for a big party. And guess what they ate for the big feast? Yeah. Ah! Hmm? <laughs> Mike, you're scared, aren't you? I wasn't frightened when I heard this story. We're not frightened. Are we, Jew? Hey, you! You're a coward! <laughs> right. How about another story? No, not anymore. We grown-ups have important business to attend to. No. Boring. Strength. What do you want? Um, uh, hi there, Danny. How's everything? <laughs> okay. It's not very often we see you round here. Has something happened? Why are you here? You've got a nerve. Coming here, without any business. Oh! Oh! I've been hit! Sure. I've finished. <laughs> there aren't any bullets in it. He's already gone. But crazy as ever. Sean? Why is he never around?
The Tower. Hello. Have you come to listen to my tales of adventure? When I was human, I had all kinds of adventures. I thought it was possible to go anywhere in the world, and I set out to leave my mark on every land. But that's just an arrogant attitude. The power of a human being is insignificant before the grandeur of Mother Nature. The same thing applies to the mansion. We are reborn as butterflies, carefree and innocent, all due to the moon's magic powers. We should give something back in return for all the good things we receive. Riding on the wind, crossing the mountains, we are led across the seas by the stars. But when we look up at the moon, it is the same moon wherever we may be. There is no way of escaping. From this tower that we call Earth, every day is so peaceful and uneventful. It's almost boring. Violent events are totally out of keeping with this mansion, don't you think? Actually, I've been asked by Elder to investigate the Red Moon. The Red Moon? And have you come up with anything? I went to Jossie's place and had my fortune told. The moon card was dealt. What do you mean by that? I don't really understand. I see. I will try to find out something. I do hope I can be of some help. Sean? Why is he never around? He's a coward. He must be hiding somewhere. He may come out if we threaten him. What was that? <gasps> Frightened! Frightened! <laughs> you! So you were hiding. Anyway, what was that noise? Well, where did it come from? It sounded like my room. June, let's go. The Hierophant. Oh no! The book's gone! 
June, can you see if the book with the blue cover has fallen on the floor? I can't find it anywhere. It must have been stolen. I borrowed that book from Elder. It's awful. Anyway, I'd better go and tell him. The Emperor Elder, where are you? What's happened? What has got you so worked up? June, have you forgotten about my room? You think it's someone else's business? Elder! It's terrible. I've just discovered that my room's been ransacked and someone stole the book I borrowed from you. I see. So that's what happened. If it's about the book, don't worry. It was just something I'd written about my past. But it's strange. I can't imagine that the residents would have done that. If that's the case, who on earth could it be? We have to investigate. We have to find some clue and bring the truth to light. Did you notice anything in the room? If that's so, look into it. I shall help you too. How unusual. You've both come to visit me at the same time. We came here a short time ago, didn't we? Some time ago? You must be joking. Well, it is possible. Either way, is there anything you want? Well, my room was ransacked and a book was stolen. We're looking for the culprit. What a dreadful thing to happen. Oh dear. Am I one of the suspects? What on earth are you talking about, June? It can't be Raymond. Well, it might be true. Maybe I am the culprit. What do you mean, maybe? That sounds a bit strange. I'm not confident about what I say and do. Sometimes my memory goes blank, as if I'd been asleep. And sometimes I come over feeling drowsy without any real reason for it. I often imagine I'm doing something somewhere that I don't know about. There's such a thing as dual personality, isn't there? That means you have another person living inside you. That may be what's happened to me. Can you believe such a story? But we can't assume he's the culprit if he knows nothing about it. If we had some proof, it'd be different. It's not like Raymond. Maybe he's very tired. It may be so. But I simply yearn for the good old days. Days of adventure filled with danger. A life that is led alongside death. And when I started feeling old, the reward of my final adventure was this mansion. But perhaps I shouldn't have come here. I can't bear to lose my zest for life. Raymond? I hope he's not thinking morbid thoughts. If only I could return to those days once again. Raymond? I'm sorry, but would you please leave me alone? I understand. We'd better call again.
Wait, won't you calm down and listen to me? You heard that noise, didn't you? My room was ransacked. It's Danny. It must be him. There's no doubt about it. Did you see it? I didn't see him, but he's the only one who could have done something like that. Don't you think so, Jun? So, Sean doesn't like Danny. That's right. That's just the sort of thing that brute would do. But don't mention it to him. I don't want to get involved. The sun. That's not mine. Come to think of it, the D on the lighter might be Danny's initial. My, you're persistent. I am busy, I tell you. But it would be different if you wanted to trade something. Let's do business with this. Ah, fine. What would you like? While I was away, somebody stole a book from my room. So, do you suspect me by any chance? Me? You're joking, aren't you? Just prove it then. Don't you recognize this lighter? I really don't know. What a wild one! To wreck the room like that! It couldn't be anybody else but Danny, could it? It's got to be Danny. Okay then. I'm busy. See you. What do you want? June, take out the lighter. June, hand over the lighter. Fight. Fine. Come on then. Oh dear. Better come back again. June, let's go. Already finished. Boring. Where can Jossie have gone to? Just at the very time I need her. Strength.
What do you want? June, take out the lighter. Ah, that's mine. Where'd you get it? Found in my room. In exchange for my book. Right, now I want you to own up. Book? What are you on about? Don't be daft. Just give me back my book. Are you saying I stole it? That's ridiculous. June, do you suspect me too? June, there's no better proof than the lighter. This guy's lying. Just shut it. I don't care if you suspect me. I'm not going to ask you to believe me. It's been like this for a long time. I'm used to it. But I have something to tell you. When we're on the edge of life and death, do you think there's any law of good and evil? How do you imagine I survived among the ruins where starving people are dying every day? There's no other option apart from stealing. If you don't steal, you die. I've been brought up somewhere else, among other kinds of people. I might have become a better person. If only someone had been my teacher. Maybe it's a waste of time me saying anything. I've only stolen in order to live. I've got my pride. If I'd have had your book, I'd have eaten it by now. Mind you, no one needs food in this mansion. In spite of all this, do you still suspect me? Right, I understand. So, okay, I'll admit it. That's right, I did it. If you want your book back, go next door. Next door? It's in the room next door? Cheerio, clever Mr. Detective. Surprising how easily he admitted it. Right, John, next door. You're back again. There are lots of guests today. Danny was here until just recently. What? Danny's been here? How long ago? Just after you left. So, he was innocent. Has something happened? Well, you see, my book was stolen. And uh, I suspected the culprit was Danny. Well, thinking about it, he, he didn't deny it. You didn't trust Danny? Danny's not as scary as he looks. He always plays with me, and he's very kind. He's like a real daddy to me. My mummy and daddy were always fighting, you know. I hated to see them like that. I asked them to be good friends, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Mummy was always drinking. They never seemed to think about me. But I put up with it. If I'd said something selfish, Mummy would have been sadder and drunk even more, wouldn't she? Anyway, Daddy left home. Mummy used to cry. Grown-ups are so strange. They are always fighting. Hey June, tell me, why do people hate one another? Why? What is it they fight over? I wanted us to all live together, the three of us, happily ever after. Must have been really tough for Cathy. 
especially when she was so small. Poor little thing. Thank you. That's better. Now I feel sleepy. Play with me again sometime, please. have to happen. June, let's not tell Kathy about Elder. June, do you want to eat an apple? I'm not giving it to you. I've had enough of looking after Kathy.
devil. Scary. Raymond, he's not here. I wonder where he's gone. Maybe he's looking for something for us. Look, let's not say anything to Sean about Elder's death. After all, it'll only frighten him. <gasps> so what happened? Is it Danny? The culprit wasn't Danny. What? Then, who is it? Um, uh, uh, sorry, I, I think it was just a uh, uh, misunderstanding. My God! So that's what happened. I was really scared, but I'm relieved now. How optimistic. Nazumi! Hey! Nazumi? Nazumi, at a time like this. Oh, it's you! Please, help me! Hang on just a minute. Nazumi, what's up? He... He said he wants to go back to being a human. That's why I told him how to do it. I never imagined he was trying to make the mansion disappear. Who? Who are you talking about? Raymond. Raymond? That's impossible. Please, believe me. Raymond's different from you. I can trust him. Please, believe me. The destiny of the mansion is at stake. Take a look at this. This... This is Elder's book. So it was you. As you can see, I guess it was wrong of me to blame Danny. But because Raymond asked me, I just wanted to find out how to get back to being a human again. The Crystal. Only the crystal can neutralize the moon. The light at the core of the crystal will absorb the light from the moon. And when its neutralizing power is strong, it shines more intensely and over a much wider area. All living creatures that benefit from the moon become powerless before the crystal. After a while, it gives eternal peace. I see. The moon's magic power is nothing compared to this. It can wipe out not only Hunter, but the entire mansion. Hang on a minute. You want to go back to being a human, don't you? If the mansion disappears, what will become of us? You're all going to die. In any case, you're already half dead. Shut away inside the walls of the mansion. Nothing develops or advances. You might as well disappear along with the mansion. So, this was your plan right from the start. All that's left for me to do is to get the crystal and enter the sanctuary. 
Raymond is planning to get hold of the crystal and then enter the sanctuary. He's going to kill Hunter and make the entire mansion disappear. Somehow, we have to stop him. So Raymond was behind it all. What on earth is he going on about? Half of this is my fault. Is there anything I can do? Right. I shall save the crystal. It should be in Elder's room. Azumi, Elder has died. Elder! The crystal's been stolen too. Oh no. Anyway, if we don't get the crystal back from Raymond, it's going to be disastrous. June, let's go to Raymond's. Wait, there is a quick way to Raymond's place. In my room, there is a secret passage that even he doesn't know about. Take care. Hey June, have you any idea why Elder came to this mansion? Do you remember? I borrowed a book from Elder. It was written down in there. He visited this mansion as a child. He helped out his sister when she wandered off, and she nearly got turned into a butterfly. But she died during the war. Elder became bitter towards human beings and blamed himself, because if she'd been living here as a butterfly, she wouldn't have got herself killed. For many years, he wandered around the mansion looking for some reminder of his sister. But to have turned out this way, I'm going to find out the truth and carry out the will of Elder, whatever happens. Strength. Has something been stolen again? Well, Elder's crystal's been stolen. What? I suppose I'm the culprit again, am I? No! It may be hard to believe, but Raymond is the culprit. And after murdering Elder, he's on his way to the sanctuary. Raymond? It was wrong of me to suspect you. I'm sorry. Apart from that... Why should anybody murder Elder? Has Raymond gone completely insane? Raymond's going to destroy the mansion. We have to stop him quickly. But what can we do? If that's the case, let's put him inside the gemstone of rebirth. Right. Like when we were transformed from human beings to butterflies. Until his body has been transformed. It cut us off from the human world outside and smothered us. Right. The gemstone of rebirth. That's a kind of umbilical cord for us. So Raymond must have looked after it well. Let's go and find it. And if we try and put him inside it, he won't be able to do anything. He'll be trapped like a baby in his mother's womb. Right. I'll look as well. I shall avenge Elder. I hope Danny's okay. I hope he doesn't do anything reckless.
Right. We can protect the mansion with this. The gemstone of rebirth. And we can stop Raymond too. The time may well come when we'll need your help. So don't worry. Help us. Huh? Oh no! No! I don't want to do it. It's impossible. Of course we can. This is the mansion which makes all your dreams come true. Anything is possible if you wish for it. If we leave Raymond at large and the mansion is ruined, we're all going to die. So if we want to stop him, we're going to have to fight. Can I do it? I wonder. Yes, I understand. I'm a bit scared though. This is the watch I was given by the painter who used to live in the mansion a long time ago. I used to like him very much. He didn't look down on me. He never bullied me. He was kind. something like this. I can't believe it. It's just that I always respected him so much. He used to tell me about all his adventures. He was a real gentleman. But there has to be some mistake. I can't think otherwise.
welcome. What is it this time? Jossie, Elder has been killed. Is that so? Such a thing can happen in a place like this far away from the mundane world. I was happy with my peaceful life here. Now it's all changing. Even if you change your shape into that of a butterfly, you're still basically a human being. Slave to desire, seeking excitement, unable to part from mundane things. Wait a minute. I can hear Elder's voice. Jossie? Elder is calling both of you. Jossie, Elder is no more. It's all right. Just go quickly. The Emperor. Jim, Mike, welcome. My final mission is to lead you to the Sanctuary. But it is beyond my control, and has been closed off by the Moon's magic powers. The room that lost its master is now the pathway leading to the Sanctuary. All we need is the crystal, which can repel the Moon's magic powers. But, Elder... Um, we don't have the crystal. The crystal is not something unique. A good heart, a strong mind, and a pure soul. These all have the same power as the crystal. That's right. You can create the crystal within your own heart. Hi there. Do you like this painting? I painted this. Everyone is individually painting his own mind inside himself. In this room you can see them all. You should be able to see your own here. You're the one Sean was talking about. Sean? Yes, I remember him. Is he still a very worried sort of boy? Hey, that's my watch, isn't it? It seems that Sean's strong will has made it possible for me to meet you. The painting you have in your mind seems rather ugly. It has suspicious eyes, a sarcastic smile, and is holding a knife which could hurt someone. But that sort of human is not at all welcome in this mansion. It is a sort of a problem. That sort of person is not welcome in this mansion. I will, however, help you as Sean brought you here. I will repaint your minds with my brush. I am going to turn them into beautiful minds. But you must paint your own mind all by yourself. If you don't, the paintings will soon disappear, even though I painted them. You must remember this point. Justice. That's a good word. What a beautiful place. Wherever are we? How me? 
mysterious. We are not influenced by the moon's magic powers, yet this scene which spreads itself before us is nothing but a world of fantasy. Human beings have the ability to be creative. This must be one of those miracles which they have created. It's a miracle. I'm delighted that at last I'm able to walk with you in this way. Please continue to carry out my will and protect the mansion. Mike, come here. Come over here, quickly. This really is goodbye. Hunter, come out from your hiding place. That's Raymond's voice. That's Raymond, isn't it? But what? Ha ha ha! If you don't come out, I shall make the entire sanctuary disappear. I'm not going to let it happen. June, the gemstone of rebirth. supposed to be. That resident intended to make me and the mansion disappear. I don't know how he lost his mind, but thanks to all of you, we have avoided disaster. I'm so grateful to you. It's Hunter! This mansion is inhabited by people who wanted to become butterflies. You may deny it, but don't forget that there are those who regard this place as a refuge. No one who has become a butterfly should ever laugh at those who remain living. Raymond must have been out of his mind to have acted as he did. Look out! Wow! Who are you, then? been separated from you. Whilst you were stupidly posing as master of the mansion, I had to put up with being treated as a freak with half a body. Just look at this ugly shape it will never reproduce. I do not have your creative powers. That's why I came here to get rid of you. You're my other self who left me with everything you didn't want and ran away. So, it was all your doing. The residents I took advantage of seem to have lost their trust in me. In the depths of their consciousness, they didn't deny me totally. They were struggling to get out of the cage known as the mansion. They could see your true nature. I can just imagine why you had to separate yourself from me. You couldn't accept a conscious human being as a victim, but you're preying upon them. The thing is, human beings and us, we're incompatible. We're predators. But it's not the act of an animal who hunts his prey. But it's only when drifters come here seeking salvation and when they choose to die rather than seek eternal life. Only then does my body fuse with theirs. Those butterflies are also your prey, aren't they? You've devoured like this. You, you think you can beat me? I've been waiting for this day. I've been cursing my lot. If I can get rid of you, I shall be free from the spell. Nothing could be better than this. I shall devour you. Throw, throw this away with everybody. We must help Jim. <laughs>
didn't mean just to save you. I did it for myself. We would have died if we hadn't saved you. You're really not honest, are you? You were the one who wanted to save the mansion, weren't you? Right. You're not going to kill us. I'll be the one who decides. If you're going to get me, it'll be my own decision. I love it here. Hunter is everybody's daddy. This is my home. You should become the elder of the mansion. You have to take on Elder's will. That's right, June. Thank you. June's going to be the elder. Strange. Will you be an old man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. It's come to this. It's all my fault. Even Elder and Mike. Raymond! What are you talking about? It's not your fault. Your obsession made you do it. You mustn't be too hard on yourself. No, it was all my fault. I cannot remain in this mansion any longer. What do you mean? I don't seem to feel quite the same way as everyone else. In fact, for some time I've actually been thinking about leaving the mansion. This very idea may have brought about these events. Raymond! Surely this is a place of peace. But somehow, I don't feel at ease here. Time. Time seems to be frozen. I really find myself totally unable to fit in here in this world. I should never have come. No, no, I should never have come. Hunter, I will dedicate my life to you. I'm sorry, June. This is the life you saved, but this is goodbye. Raymond? Don't be so silly. Are you serious? That is what I intend to do. Are you really sure? You wanted something different, didn't you? Raymond wants to leave. It doesn't mean he wants to die. That's enough. I wasn't really thinking. I made the wrong decision. If I'm going to stay here any longer, I'd rather die. Leave the mansion if you want to. What? But in the form of a butterfly. Your lifespan will be the same as that of a butterfly from the moment you leave the mansion. You may finish your short life without going anywhere. Do you still want to leave? If I can only get out, I don't mind having a shorter life. Let's get you home.